you know, it's the way you play these games. Um, we're lucky enough to have exhibition games. Um, you know, I, I like the Fayetteville State as seven footer, shot blocker, they were athletic, they ran good stuff. You know, we put zero into the scout. It took us a while to adjust to what they were running and and then you know we gave up sixteen points in the first like eight minutes or whatever and then we really locked in and guarded. Um, disappointed obviously in the free throws. Um, you know, we we've shot a ton of free throws. I'm, I'm guessing around twenty four thousand as a team. Uh, since the school year started, some some number like that I don't have in front of me. Uh, of course, we're at 86 percent, and that's 24,000 or more today. And on a private sc scrimmage, we shot about 82 percent of a private scrimmage. So uh, it's good to get get that out there. But defensively, we're good. It's hard to get rid of them offensively when you sub so much. Uh, I thought Makai was great tonight. It was first, you know, game in, in this building. Defensively, he gave us a big lift. His passing was terrific. And, and then really the, like the last 18 minutes, our around the rim defense was terrific. And uh, we really protected the rim. Uh, it gets a pretty athletic you know, team. Questions, please. Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win. And you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing. And you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9% .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. All right, guys. We'll see you. <laughs> Don doesn't want to be first seen. <laughs> Don's old, he's back, he was just nodding off back there. Sleeping. Um, Anthony didn't start tonight. Yeah. Um, maybe I'm just old and cynical, but um, it, it seemed like a, a, a you know, a, uh, I, I, I wondered about that. Yeah. Uh, did he, did, was there any? Nah, I just wanted to, you know, Wiggs didn't start last year. I wanted to start Wiggs. That was really it. And and then you know, Anthony's gonna start Tuesday. So you are old. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there was no there was no infraction and team move or anything like that. Okay. But you know, only having six turnovers tonight. Yeah, what did you see in terms of you know smarter decision making from your team? Yeah, it's really good to see. You know, um, you know, hopefully it's not a season low as we go on. But uh, yeah, because we're trying to play faster. And uh, it was really good to see. And you know, one charge, um, we had two turnovers to start the second half. We went from two to four real quickly. And then the last 18 minutes, we only had two more. So um, that's good. I mean, we work on it hard. <laughs> we talk about it a lot. And we've done a really nice job in practice. And we only had 15 assists. In practice, we've been getting like 31, 32 assists in practice. That's two teams, obviously. but. Um, so it's good that that carried over. That's, that's a good sign for us, because if we can be really good defensively and we can take care of the ball, we're going to make shots and we're going to make free throws as the year goes on. Patrick, sir. Mark, uh, nine guys in, I think, in the first 17 minutes or so. Is that a fair sense of what you think your rotation is going to look like in the early going? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, um, what we play, 11 in the first half? Yeah, I, I think we're. I'm still just trying to figure it out. You know, I think there's guys I can rely on. Like Ricky Lindo really played well. He only played 11 minutes. His first four minutes, he got a steal, he got a deflection, he got two steals and a deflection, and then he only plays 11 minutes. So if it was a different game, a different night, uh, he probably would play a little bit more because you know I, I trust him. Um, so so we'll see. But yeah, I think nine would be a number right now. We'll see if we can keep our rhythm. You know, that's going to be the big key. But, you know, Makai was good, Mikel was good, Dante was good. Um, you know, to go with our returning guys, those guys were good. Wayne in the back left. 
you seem to have some instant chemistry between Scott and Mitchell. Are they like that in practice, and did you notice that? Um, it might have been just today. Um, you know, they, um, you know, we change our teams up every day. We try to divide them equally so we compete every day, and, and uh, so they've been on teams together uh, quite a bit. Um, but yeah, they're both really good passers. Both the twins and Dante are really good pass, and Hakeem is too, a really good passer. So uh, their passes don't surprise me. You guys just haven't seen them as much. So uh, the way they share the ball is, is what I expect. What you uh, see from your zone defense tonight? You guys seem to play it a lot, and is that something we can expect going forward? Uh, I think you'll see it in different games. Um, what, what I liked was um, we ran two possessions when we couldn't guard them to start the game because we didn't know if they were back screening the ball. You know, we didn't know what was coming, and which is good. You know, put your guys through that, um, but it kind of threw off the rhythm. You know, by going in that zone, we got a steal in the press with Anthony, and then we got this. Uh, the fast break on the rebound from a guy, so it really helped us. Uh, I thought out of bounds under, we were playing zone out of bounds under right now. We might switch up as the year goes on, but it, that got better as the game went on. You know, we gave up an easy one early in the first half. We got a layup, but then we made him throw it out. We did a much better job of communicating. So that's good. If you can get good at that, and then we actually went from zone to man, one possession out of bounds under, having to practice that a lot. So, um, you know, it, I thought it was good. I think we're going to be better in it as we, you know, get, play it more and get used to it. Our big guys were a little bit slow in rotations a couple times, um, but once they figure that out, I think it's going to be good because we're so long and give us a chance to be good. With Ricky, um, how, how noticeably different is he playing to where he was last year, and I guess even more so 12 months ago? And how will that kind of impact how involved he is this year? Yeah, I think he's much more comfortable. Uh, I think his understanding defensively is continuing to grow, and then his understanding of where to go offensively is, is, is continuing to grow. It's gotten a lot better uh, since last season. I think he's more comfortable with everything. He's more confident. He's really shot the ball well in practice, um, so he didn't get many opportunities tonight. Um, but uh, he helps us space the floor, and as long as he's making good decisions, he can help us, but Ricky's much better. And we're much we're much more confident in him than we were obviously last year at this time. Just throwing him out there. Mark, Anthony aside, I mean when you look the team's nine deep and you know tonight you have Wigan, Sayala, you know, Mitchell, Scott all playing really well. I mean, do do you think you might need the first month to kind of tinker with the starting lineup or do you think you kind of know what, how you're going to go in that direction? Well, you know, I did a different lineup to start the second half and I wanted to make Ricky aware that he didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I just wanted to start a different lineup. I wanted to play Jalen at the four with Makai at the five to start the second half. Uh, and then we put Anthony in for uh, Eric because Eric played the most minutes in the first half. So that was kind of my, you know, why I did it that way. But. Yeah, I, you know, the good thing for me is if one guy's not playing well, I can go with another guy. And I think we have enough bodies to where we can figure it out and uh, get better. But the hard part is I think Eric's really good. I think Anthony's really good. I think Wiggs has really made a huge jump, and Daryl's pretty good. So just finding minutes uh, as, as we move forward. And, you know, Sorrell was three assists, one turnover. Uh, so just finding the minutes and, and uh, keeping guys in rhythm. You know, hopefully we'll be able to figure that out as we this first month. Don and then Bruce. Mark, aside from moving Jalen, Jalen moving to the four second half, he just seemed more uh, engaged, energized coming yeah. out. Was that something you said to him or is that something that he just realized on his own and, and did on his own to sort of be, you know, in terms of defensively and, yeah. and, and being more active? He's gotten so much better defensively. Um, I mean, in practice and some of the film, and he's just been terrific defensively. Uh, post defense, he still got some work. And that's why I wanted to get him off the big seven footer to start the second half. Um, so uh, he's really improved. Offensively, quite frankly, for him, he wasn't very good tonight. He's just been terrific offensively. Um, and he was still pretty good, just to give you an idea of the level he's been playing at. I think the whole key with Jalen, he's really happy and he's really relaxed and he's really confident. And so I think it shows in his play. 
disappointed for him at the free throw line because he's worked so hard. He's been making them in practice. So hopefully that's just a one game deal and he'll get more confident there. Couple of quick ones, uh, Coach Eric Ayala. It's a little bit under the radar as far as people covering. I thought he's fantastic today. Yeah. And uh, also Dante Scott. Does he bring a Philadelphia toughness to the team? Because he's short for a guy who's not played before. Yeah. He really seemed tough. Yeah. So first, Eric. Eric. You know, I thought Eric was terrific tonight. I thought he ran the team, shared the ball, made made threes. Eric can really shoot it. I think he was four for five in practice yesterday. Uh, from three, so he's consistently been shooting it well, uh, which is good to see. Uh, and I thought defensively, in the last two weeks, Eric's made a big jump, and uh, I was just like, I, you know, kind of challenged him. So he made a big jump there. Took a couple visits, went under a ball screen, and I hit a three. So he made a mistake. We can't do that. Um, we signed the twins, and and uh, Dante to bring toughness to us. Um, <coughs> And I think they're on their way to doing that for us. But Dante is tough, man. You can't break that kid. He's he's really tough. Like right now, he's a little confused because he's playing two positions. He's playing the four and the three. Um, we played him probably three minutes at the three in the second half, um, mostly at the four in this game. But so he's thinking more than he's just playing. When he's just playing, he's really good. But he's he's you know for six seven, he's strong and. Um, and he's got he's got really good toughness to him. So hopefully those three guys will, and our fresh our young guys become sophomores. So we should be a much tougher team. It's what, what we really felt like we needed to be this year for us to have a chance to be great. All right, guys, thank you.